Well, hello, folks. Welcome to episode number seven of our fourth season here at Riga FC. I'm the Custard Prophet, and this is the Latvian job. We're here at the start of our Euro Cup 2 or the Conference League group stage. We, um, we're not going to talk about what happened in the last episode. Uh, if you don't know, don't go back and find out. You Honestly, you don't want to. It's, it's not worth it. It's really not worth it. <sighs> we'll move on. Right, yes, we're ignoring all of that, all of that, uh, and we're coming back, I think, for a really interesting game in the uh, the group stage, which is our first game away at Sigma Alumalek uh, from Czechoslovakia. Um, never played in the Czech League, maybe, maybe a save in the Czech League next year. I don't know, sounds interesting. Um, not with this club, though because uh, we, we, we're going to embarrass them, surely. Yeah, we're going to be playing Sigma Ulamak, uh, that's, or something along, along those lines, in the first. And they're, they're the, the bottom team in our division in terms of seeding. They are a three-star team, where one star, a two-star team, so there is some differences there. But I think we have shown that we can compete with very, very strong three-and-a-half-star team, so maybe we can compete a little bit more effectively with a three-star team. I don't know. I don't know. We've got a good side out. We've had a little gap um, between the last two games, although the uh, the previous one was only five days away. Let's uh, have a look at the schedule. One thing I realised uh, as we were playing through the between the Ludogorex game, I didn't actually say what we did between that, and that was a 1-0 victory of a dag for pills, which was ludicrous because we had so many chances and just only scored once. Krollis, I don't know what's up with him at the minute. He ain't scoring goals. This is not not good when you, he's playing in Europe. But the last two games we've played since the game that we're never going to speak of again uh, was against Oda. We won this 3-2. Uh, you can see Krollis did not get on the score sheet. I can't remember if he was playing. He wasn't playing. He got he got on later on. Uh, two goals from Bengue, who was playing quite well, and Pantelev scored a penalty. They had like four shots in the whole game and scored two of them. I'm worried with the defensive frailties that we show. And then we played Valmiria. This was an, a not a defensively frail performance. And Krollis finally got his act together. A couple of goals for the big man. So uh, that was a good one because uh, Valmiria were second. And they were closing in on us, as you can clearly see. Closing in on us hard. Now we're 20 points ahead of, <laughs> of, of Lepage, who have now moved into second place. As you can see, we are dominating all of the player stats. Um, well, uh, with uh, with Krolis on 25 goals, Pantelev on 15. I'm surprised Mbengue's not doing a little bit better because he, he, I do feel he's played well. He's on 15 goals as well. So, I mean, look at this. It's ridiculous. The first top four goal scorers are from our team utterly utterly mad but it shows kind of how strong we are and how the how weak the league is but we are getting it remember that was down in the 80s we're now 59th in terms of the uh, the ranking of this league we're almost at the level of the armenian high division which is a is something i've always aspired to to, to be at the level of so folks uh what else can we say i feel something's happened I'm not sure I actually mentioned this, but we have improved the youth recruitment yet again. So that's pretty good. Euro Cup, be competitive. I felt we were competitive. But they apparent, we apparently failed that. Win the cup. Okay. Right then, folks. Uh, let's have a look at the team that we're going with against this, this side. We're going strong. We are going strong and we're going attacking. We're not going to go... With a defensive player out, we're going with the uh, the big guns, um, and that is Krollis up top. We're going Erglis, Erglis, the little man. In uh, I don't know if he's little. Is he little? Uh, no, he's my height. But I feel I feel he needs game time to come on because I really think he is developing very very nicely and, and could be a real asset for us. So he's playing alongside Krollis uh, completely. Latvian front line. Then we've got Skopintsev and Leo left and right. Zadam and Pantelev uh, in the middle. And then Visharenko, Augustniak, Meshanorov, and Safelniak across the back line, which is fairly straight, a fairly um, 
uh, well, yeah, fairly obvious decision because I think that's our best. And, and Jikia is in goal. Liz is now back. He's not happy that I've missed um, giving him a position in the uh, the Euro Cup Conference League squad. But I said, oh, I forgot. I made a mistake. And he said, oh, don't worry, don't worry. Next time, next time. But we, we know there won't be a next time, so it doesn't really matter unless we qualify for the next round, I think. So let's go and do it. I'm, I'm excited to see how we can do. If we can win this, maybe, maybe there's a chance of qualifying second in the group. Let's see what we can do. They want us to put um, Yao Zems and Bengue on. I don't think we need to at the minute. Uh, let's let's go with this. I think we can always bring those lads on later. Leo's back, by the way, which is very nice. And um, so we're excited to see how we do here. Um, I think we'll start balanced or maybe positive something and maybe balanced and just see see how we start off and then maybe tweak things from there let's get into it big game for Urglis today can he put on his big boy pants and show us what he's made of Oscar Pintsev has the ball there Vishirenko Zadem he doesn't look the awesome player necessarily in these European ties. He's made some mistakes. Leo's through. He's such an important player for us. And he's missed the pass. Oh, oh that's brilliant. Savelniex. Zalem. Pantalev. Savelniex. Are they going to give away a penalty or... Leo, he's got some space. Oh, what are you doing, man? You've got all the space in the world. You've got all the space in the world. Or something. Go on, Leo. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. And that's why he's in the team. He does. He is so capable from distance. I think I think we've seen another one of these um, on, on uh, I was going to say on stream. I don't stream. On, on camera. In the past, a big, long smash from Leo finding the bottom corner that's what we love that's why we love him when we started he was our he was our main striker and now he's playing on the right and doing great things Erglis didn't quite make it through another dodgy through ball but it looks like it's a chance for the uh, the Czech side can we win the ball back Kalvac at the back here Sibuda that's a a fairly bit of an impressive play there. They've run straight through us. We did not make a challenge, and it's one all. And we looked well. I don't know if there's words for that, but defensively, they, they just we just let them go through. Look at this. No one, no one closing him down. And then he plays just a ridiculously hard pass into that guy. There's chance there, and no one there. So yeah, disappointment. We got work to do, I think, defensively, even with all the players we've got in. Corner to them. It's 2-1. They've completely turned it around. Raphael West Westlovsish. And we've seen nothing until here, and they've um they've turned it around. Well, we've seen no highlights since the goal. They've had two shots on target and they have scored both of them. Um one very good chance and one not so good chance. So that's frustrating. That is really, really frustrating. We've we went positive. It didn't matter. We've we need to be better than this. I need to be a lot better than this. Crawlis is. I don't know. I don't know. Do we do we bring on Erglis? Do we take off Erglis and put on Mbengue? I feel the side is good. I'm just struggling to get the best out of it. Let me have a tinker and we'll we'll see see what I've done in a second. Okay, so what we've done, we've taken playing uh, down the wing on. We've um, we're going to hit shoot on sight on, and we'll just see if we can get some of those more pot sh uh, some of those pot shots from distance. That's what I'm reduced to. That's my tactical ability: kick it long and try and score from distance. <laughs> oh god, I should be uh, I should be managing in in the. Uh, I don't think defensively. Yeah, there we go. We've motivated them. Yeah, I don't think defensively we've been that good. Right, we do have a throw in. It'd be awesome to get it back level and just see what happens. Mishaninov, 
finds Savelniak. Erglis! Oh, you missed that! Erglis, you great clod! Oh. That's so frustrating. We've, we've, we've had the chance, and our youngster, the one that I was talking about being the, um, the player that I was hoping was going to be the, the difference maker. Bloody hell, it came straight to the guy, but Mashaninov cleared it. So they've hit the bar, we've hit the bar. So Fisherenko, we, I think I am going to be taking one of the strikers off very, very soon. Zadam. Beautiful ball through. It's Krollis. It's Krollis. There it is. Two all. I think I know which one's coming off now. <laughs> we'll take Erglis off. He's, he's had a good run out. Not really shown his best today. And uh, not really been that good in the centre of the park either, have we? I know. We'll leave it like that for now. I think Umbengue, I'm hoping Mr. Umbengue can be the the man who uh, maybe just unlocks their defence. I've got a soft spot for Mbengwe. He's uh, he's done a lot of good things at this club. Scored a lot of important goals. It was a high highlight for them. But we have picked this up. Zadem into Krollis. Krollis plays it wide. Skapintsev, come on, play the ball in, my friend. Tried the first time, failed. Tried a second time. We got it in, but to nobody. So Valniak, he's going to do a better job on this side. I'm sure of it. Ball in. Oh, it's over the top. Just clip the bar. Oh, we've worked hard. We've worked hard. We've got a Grida XG. So Skopintsev here is going to come off. We're going to bring Samoliev on. He's not the best player, but he is capable of some stuff. There's uh, Crobot. Over the top there. It's it can go any direction. This one is it's it's a fun fun game. Is there going to be a winner, folks? Is there going to be a winner? We have cleared it, but it's not gone far enough. Crobot. He's through. Oh my God. <laughs> We got away with that one. And we're looking tired. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a change. I'm gonna take put Zadem to a box to box and we're gonna bring Kigurz on for Pantalev who is looking shattered. Can can Kid Kigurz be the difference maker now? Mashaninov here. Into Zadem. Leo Umbengwe. Zadem. It's Umbengwe. It's Krollis. Oh, he's just smashed it over. The utter prick. Vicharenko into Leo. That's a funny ball. We did manage to get hold of it. Zadam. He's gone wide. Vicharenko. Ball in. What was that? That looked like it could have been a... A foul of some description. Savelniak, you little genius, little general there. That goalkeeper lost it, but it didn't fall to us. Vishenko. Oh, a mad end to the game. Can we be the ones? Oh, it's Samoliev. Oh, no. I thought we might have been the ones to take this. Chances we've had at the end. Oh my lord, have we deserved that? I mean, they did have a couple of chances from distance at the bar. Let's not let's not forget that. But the goal from Krollis, it was awesome. But then a couple more chances towards the end where you look at the XG, we were just rocketing up there. I think, I think uh, we should have maybe done a little bit better. We created some good chances. Somalia played well and he had a chance to finish it. If he'd have put that in, oh, that would have been awesome. But two goals conceded there, but we didn't concede goals late, which is nice to see. Oh, well, that was a fun game. It was the away, away game, so we have picked up a decent result against... Uh, 
the, the Croatian side, no, the Czech side, I'd have liked to do a bit better against them, but we see Stuttgart absolutely smashed AEK, so that's interesting. Okay, well, we want to open up. We'll, we will go with this. We want Krollis to be happy. Yeah, we'll give you, we'll give you all of that and more. We got all the money to to burn. Let's have a look at the schedule just before we sign off. It was a good victory there. You can see we have got some games coming up. Spartax in the cup final, quarter final. Sorry, uh, we got a Stuttgart game. I wonder whether we come back actually for the AEK game there. That might be a good one. See how we do. See how we've done against Stuttgart and see how we do against AEK. Because if we can win that one then these ones suddenly become really important and depending on how AEK does against Sigma Olumniak I feel we can win this one I thought we were way way better than them uh, for much of that game well maybe not way way better but better enough that when we play in the home leg I feel we should be the better side and get the win it doesn't work like that does it but um, I feel that's the way it works but game against AEK could be a fun one anyway folks Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.